If you're one of the few people who are unsure as to why labor militancy is on the rise, maybe it's because people are fed up. They're tired of working longer hours for lower wages. They're tired to, in some instances, risk their own lives and health just to make sure that the CEOs of their companies make a few extra bucks. And, you know, when they're not being expected to risk their lives literally for their job, well, then sometimes they're subjected to humiliation for purposes of entertainment, as was the case with these teachers in South Dakota who were scrambling to collect as many dollar bills as they possibly could in order to use that money to purchase school supplies for their students. That is very, truly dystopian. And one of the worst things about that, aside from the fact that they're forcing teachers to do this in order to buy school supplies, is that other people would cheer and not feel disgusted by watching that. Uh, but it gets worse because in one factory in Kentucky, they expected workers to die for the company, potentially, if that's what it took. And really, this story that we're about to read demonstrates that these companies have no regard for their workers. They are totally expendable. They don't care if their workers live or die. They're just a cog in the machine. So as Dion J. Hampton of NBC News reports, as a catastrophic tornado approached this city Friday, employees of a candle factory, which would later be destroyed, heard the warning sirens and wanted to leave the building. But at least five workers said supervisors warned employees that they would be fired if they left their shifts early. For hours, as word of the coming storm spread, as many as 15 workers beseeched managers to let them take shelter at their own homes, only to have their requests rebuffed, the workers said. Fearing for their safety, Safety, some left during their shifts, regardless of the repercussions. At least eight people died in the Mayfield Consumer Products Factory, which makes scented candles. The facility was leveled, and all that is left is rubble. Photos and videos of its widespread mangled remains have become symbols of the enormous destructive power of Friday's tornado system. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashar said Monday that 74 people were confirmed dead in the state. Now, here is a look at the before and after picture of that building. I mean, it's safe to say that the workers who wanted to leave were right to think that they were in danger. Now, the company, of course, is denying that they told workers that they couldn't leave. Uh, but who would you believe? The company who cares about nothing but profit or the workers who actually want to live? Here's one firsthand account. Eliza Johnson, 20, was working in the back of the building when several employees wanting to head home walked in to speak with supervisors. He joined in on the request. I asked to leave and they told me I'd be fired, Johnson said. Even with the weather like this, you're still going to fire me, he asked. Yes, a manager responded. Responded. Johnson told NBC News. Yeah. So who do you believe? The worker or uh, the company who uh, doesn't care about their workers? Yeah. Now, a similar thing happened in uh, Illinois. A tornado there killed six workers. Now, worker Larry Verdon told his girlfriend that Amazon also wouldn't let them leave, and he didn't leave. And he ended up dying, leaving behind four kids. Yeah. Now, Ken Klippenstein reports that workers are now speaking out about virtually no emergency training at Amazon and workers are being discouraged to take time off for natural disasters because, well, surprise, surprise, it slows productivity, productivity or your workers lives, which is more important. Definitely productivity. Don't even have to think about it. I mean, they don't care about their workers. Again, this is why workers are rising up and they're striking and they're demanding better across the country because it is evident that these companies don't care at all. Again, they wouldn't bat an eye if one of their workers was killed. They don't care. They want to increase profits and that's the only thing exclusively that they care about. They couldn't care less about their workers. And it's time that everyone in this country acknowledge that. But thankfully, more and more people are working at, uh, uh, are uh, waking up to that. One thing that I do want to touch on since we're talking about workers' rights is the Kellogg strike that has been going on for a while now. Kellogg actually has replaced striking workers with scabs. But I want you to send a message to Kellogg's and let them know that you stand with workers and not them. So boycott all of these brands owned by Kellogg's. That includes Pop-Tarts, Pringles, Cheez-Its, Morningstar Farms, Eggos, and others. Now, 
Now, for me, I actually didn't know that all of these um, brands were owned by Kellogg, so I'm glad that I saw this. I, that I just thought that I'd share this with you because I purchase Pop-Tarts relatively frequently. I purchase Morningstar Farms food, um, it, really good veggie patties and whatnot. So uh, I, I, I'm glad that I saw this because I refuse to cross the picket line, and I hope that you don't as well. So arm yourselves with information. If there is a picket uh, or a strike that's going on, make sure you look up all of the brands that that particular company owns because oftentimes they're going to own a lot more brands. Like when you think of Kellogg's, you think of Frosted Flakes or, and Corn Flakes, but no, they own more brands. Make sure you don't cross that picking line. Make sure you boycott these companies until workers get what they are asking for. So we'll leave that there. I mean, these corporations aren't just randomly out of the goodness of their hearts going to choose to do the right thing. I know that in this twisted uh, country, we view corporations legally as people, but they're not people. It's not like they're Ebenezer Scrooge and they're going to, you know, see a lot of suffering and they'll have this wake up call and then they'll, they'll treat their workers right. That's not how this is going to work. You force them to treat their workers right. Otherwise, they're not going to do it because all they care about is profits and they couldn't care less if their workers literally drop dead.